Hello. Um, first thing, warning with this video, um, there's going to be flashing lights and things. So if you have photo epilep photosensitive epilepsy or any other condition that um, flashing lights causes problems with, um, you might want to be careful with this video. So yeah, that's the warning out of the way. Um, so the reason I'm doing this video is it's my 30th birthday, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I literally did not think I was going to make it to 30. Um, you know, uh, doctors and all that told me that I probably wouldn't make it past my early 20s. Um, so I've beat the odds there. Um, I nearly didn't make it past my past my 26th birthday um, or past 26 because in 2013, as I've mentioned in other videos, um, I had all the heart trouble with my aorta um, and the aneurysm and all that kind of stuff. Um, and they told me I only had, if I hadn't had the operation, I probably wouldn't have lived. Um, that I probably wouldn't have lived another week. Um, and, you know, they were surprised when I come in, when I went into the hospital, that I was still alive. And because of the state, my aorta was in a very, very bad state. And they were kind of like, wow. How have you survived? You're, this is like usually people with this bad um, damage to their aorta don't survive. They don't, you know, that you should have been dead ages ago. And apparently I was walking around with that in my chest for a few years without knowing about it. So someone up there in heaven or whatever you want to call it, obviously, um, took a shine into me, obviously uh, helped me somehow. So maybe I've got some guardian angels or something. But yeah, so and most people are depressed when they hit 30 because they're like, oh, I'm getting old and all that kind of thing. And to be honest, mentally, I don't feel old. Physically, because of my conditions with the chronic fatigue and the chronic pain, I occasionally feel old. I feel like a 90 year old rather than a 30 year old. But mentally, I don't feel old. I still feel like a teenager mentally or a kid mentally, you know, so, which is really strange. And I think most of my friends are like that as well. I've got friends that are older than me, but they don't act old. They don't act their age. You know, they're still, like, young at heart, I guess. And they look quite young as well. But then those friends, most of them have got um, learning difficulties or disabilities. So, you know, I guess having learning difficulties and disabilities makes you look younger. So that's one plus for disabilities, I guess. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so... I'm happy about being 30, I'm glad I'm still here, you know. So don't take things for granted because, you know, life isn't promised and you never know what's going to happen. So don't take things for granted. Enjoy things like your 30th birthday, you know. Who cares if you're getting old? You're still here, you're still alive, you're still able to enjoy treating yourself so it's your birthday go treat yourself you know go eat loads and loads of cake whatever drink until you're merry you know so that's what i'm doing today later on this evening i'm gonna be going to an all-you-can-eat buffet place with and loads of my friends are coming um so um, we're going to be there from like right from like five six o'clock ish up until like 10 o'clock at night when they close <laughs> um 
you know, and they do a really good dessert um, selection. So I'm going to be pigging out on the desserts. I'm going to kind of ignore my diet, my healthy diet for today. Because, you know, it's my birthday. I deserve to treat myself. Um, but yeah, so I'm having a really good day. And I'm happy to still be alive, happy to still be here. Um, so yeah. Um, and I'd like to thank ev anyone and everyone who have wished me like happy birthday on my Facebooks and everything. Thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, and now the flashing light part. This is where we're we're getting to now. The flashing lights. So those with photosensitive epilepsy, you might want to turn this video off or look away now or what have you. But um, the flashing lights have to do with my birthday presents. And it was my fiancé who got me these presents. So first, this one. <laughs> it's a hat and in the peak, as you can see, there's flashing lights, which is really cool. It's like a baseball cap with flashing lights in it. Um, I have a fascination with changing colour lights and flashing lights. I think that's mainly to do with my autism or ASD or whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm like a moth. I'm attracted to anything flashy and whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has a button on the side here. So earlier, that want me just poking my up in the head randomly. I'm trying to change it changes, you know, speed and whatnot. So yeah, that's the first present. The second one, we've had a few technical difficulties with this one and that lot, but and you may think they're flowers. How can you have technical difficulties with flowers? Well, let me show you if I can find it. And I just dropped the plug. Oh, goodness. Technical assistance required. Yeah, I need, I, ha I think I'm having technical difficulties with my hands as well today, you know. But there you go. <laughs> I told you it would work if you took it out for a while. Now, these, ah, it's working again now. Yeah, now these are flowers. They're fake flowers, obviously. And they have fibre optic, um, fibers in them that light up and change color um we've worked out what the technical difficulties were and when you where it heats up when you have it plugged in the disc inside heats up a little and so does the motor so we think why it is is it stops changing color because the motor stops because it gets too hot so i think that was what the technical difficulties were but even so, they still look really cool, whether they're changing colour or not. And I love these flowers, they're awesome. So cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's another present. And this one, it's got no batteries in it at the moment. I don't have any batteries for it, I don't think, at the moment. But this is like a mason jar which lights up and glows and changes colour and everything and it's really cool because it's like waterproof so I can use it indoors and outdoors if I wanted you know I can like hang it up in the bathroom when I'm having a bath or whatever which is really cool so yeah that's a really cool present some really cool presents from my partner um so yeah, I'm just gonna, what are you doing? Flashing colours, woo! <laughs> I'm gonna turn this one off now because I'm wearing this hat tonight when I go for my birthday meal. So I don't wanna waste the batteries in it. Um, but yeah, all in all, I've had a really good day. And basically, I just wanted to share with you 
my birthday presents and I just wanted to give you all a bit of a message um, especially those that do have conditions like Marfan syndrome and like degenerative conditions and things like that don't be depressed on your birthday you know be happy enjoy it you're still here you've made it as far as you have you know you've beaten every battle that's been thrown at you by your illness so don't be sad be happy you know you you're strong you've got this far so you're strong you know so that's my message to everyone um but i'm gonna go now because i've got a few things to do i've got to get ready for tonight and whatnot so hopefully there'll be some pictures from tonight maybe a few videos that i will probably post on my vlogs page on facebook so if you want to see any of that um hop over to that later um so yeah thanks for watching my video and hopefully i will be i will survive to 21 <laughs> but yeah Thanks for watching. See you all later. Bye bye. You're 30. Yeah, I was saying hopefully I will survive till I'm 31. You said 21. No, I said 31. You said 21. Did I? Yeah. I'm blaming that one on the brain fog, on the fibro fog. But yeah, I will say it again then. Hopefully I will survive until I'm 31. <laughs> Happy now? Yeah. <laughs> See you all later. Still not bye -bye. funny though.